the main expectation of a developer is just a dude in a room just coding for 12 hours straight and then going home. People aren't used to someone like me coming into the room and saying, hi, I'm the architect. I'm the one who's gonna solution your problems. I am trying to help new developers and new administrators be able to get into it because ServiceNow changed my life. I feel the need to be this out there and to be this present in order to help other people feel comfortable in their own skin. It shouldn't have to be that we have to camouflage ourselves amongst everybody else. And we need to make it easier for women to be able to put themselves out there. So that's why I started WomenNow.dev because the reality is that there is an imbalance in the workforce, especially in IT and other STEM related jobs. I'm hoping that by being as loud, as prideful as I can be, they stop ignoring me. It's really scary to put yourself out there. And every time that I talk and I tell my story, there's always people who come up to me afterwards who say, wow, you know, I thought I was the only one. And it's just so amazing how we all seem to share the story of struggle and of learning and of teaching ourselves. It's just been the most humbling and the best experience to be able to share this with people and just find each other's humanity.